A bill about sexual education is making its way through the Indiana State House. It would require school boards to approve the curriculum and post it online. News 10's Ben Brabanek joins us now in the studio to tell us what people on both sides of the issue had to say. Rondrell, this bill is pretty simple. Parents are already allowed to pull their children out of sexual education classes. However, there are currently no sexual education standards in the state of Indiana. This bill would require that school boards approve what is taught and then make it available for parents to review. Several people testified about the bill at the State House. Terry Spradlin, the executive director of the Indiana School Board Association, declared his support for the bill. They will lend our support. It's another step in transparency. He referred to local control, which this bill provides, and it also emphasizes parental engagement. Those are all concepts that ISBA embraces. Some spoke against the bill, citing that local school boards are not equipped to make these kind of decisions. Others who spoke against the bill were concerned about how this bill would impact the LGBTQ community here in Indiana. I'll focus on the ambiguity of the language and how it can be readily abused to harm, shame, and erase the existence of LGBTQ children, families, and school staff. It should be noted that this bill will not change any school curriculum. It would provide more transparency to parents. I reached out to the Vigo County School Board to see if they had any thoughts on the bill, and so far I have not heard back. The bill will move to the Indiana Senate, and we will continue to keep you updated as the bill works its way through the legislative process. Back to you. Today,